Greetings, and welcome ladies and gentlemen back to the game Mystery. Now, for today is Mis History of the Underappreciated, Halloween edition. We'll be looking at video game lore, and... You enjoy your recordings, I'm going to bed. Good night, Mystery. <sighs> Good night, my rotting friend. Let's yeah, ask quick. Now, today, we'll be looking at Sir Daniel Fortescue. Now, is he underappreciated from the fan base? No. He's actually quite popular, especially with the new, new game. <laughs> is he underappreciated in his own franchise? Eh, kind of. Eh? Not quite enough that he would make the criteria. Later on, we'll get more. As Pan and Corn to see, we'll get more popular characters. However, is he underappreciated from the studio? Or specifically Sony Pictures. Yes. God, yes. Two reboots all together. First, two games, the reboot, and then the newest reboot. Sony, what are you doing to this poor skeleton man? So, so Daniel Fortescue first made his debut in Medieval, a PS1 classic. Got a sequel. Had middling reviews. I think maybe he did get a third game. I'm not entirely sure. Fact check me, please. Just you know, fact check me a little bit. If he did, cool. If he didn't, hey, that happens. Then he, but in the event that he did, even if he did, the very next game he got rebooted on the PS3. Was it the PS? When the PS PlayStation had it? It's been a while. It's been a long while. Since I've researched on this character. However, he then once again got the reboot treatment on the PS4. Yeah. He got the second one. Although you can play the original on that one. Excuse me. My bad. Leo. For shame. Hey, it's spooky time. Oh, Politics. once you finish your videos tomorrow, make sure to leave the 360s and stuff. I want to check out that L.A. Noir game I got. And the 360s always have the things, the, the, the Blu-ray player. Mm. You're fucking, you're fucking, up, mm, the I'm sorry, mind. I just wanted to make sure the 360 was plugged up. <laughs> Roommates. Tourists. What you say? Now, right, where was I? Uh, oh, oh, yes. The PS4 reboot. It does contain the PS1 original classic on it if, if you 100% the game. So, he does have some games under his belt. He's not one of Sony's flagship, and flagship, you know, properties, but he does have some popularity. However, what is his backstory? He was once a king who, or was he a prince? It doesn't matter. He was a ruler of, and led his men to battle. Got an arrow straight through the eye. First death on the battlefield. Almost immediately. Yeah. yeah he, he's supposed to be the biggest. But over the years, he became the biggest hero. Yeah. Okay. As all the heroes died, an old, his old enemy that they were facing back then came back. The wizard had returned, and in the end, pretty much started taking over. However, when he woke the dead, yes, he did. And that's how he's done it. He inadvertently woke Sir Daniel Fortescue, and over the course of your first adventure, you will, you will start gathering many, many different um, weapons and various items and everything else throughout the game. Eventually, the Daniel Fortescue beat the wizard and went into his eternal rest. However, a new threat arisen and, well, he had to come back once more. The two rebirths are pretty much the same as the first game. Sorry. But, yes. So Daniel Fortescue was a coward, and uh, subsequently died as the first casualty on, as in, in his very first fight. But why is he underappreciated from the studio, you may ask? 
Well, the thing is, unlike Crash Bandicoot, Spyro, Sly Cooper, or really any other other character for the most part of the big ones that everyone remembers, so Daniel Fortescue only really had one good game. For the most part. The very first one. The sequel pretty much did half of what the original did. And the original wasn't really doing the greatest. It at least made its money back. And then with a little bit of extra on the side of course. To get a sequel. And at least had some popularity enough to get the first reboot. But therein lies the problem. The sequel did not do what the first did, and the reboot was on one of the handhelds, I do believe. And, um, let's just say, for being a launch title, it was a shit launch title. Yeah, it did not do very good. But one key factor, controls, did not control very well, not very well at all. Then the reboot happened, and people actually enjoyed it. Like they did with the Insane Trilogy and Reignite Trilogy before it. And adding in the original game, so you pretty much 100% two games all at once. <coughs> Excellent work. So it re half the games are good. Outstanding move. However, that being said, the reason why we most likely haven't gotten a sequel, well, other priorities. Right now, the biggest franchise is right now in Sony's library are God of War, um, Last of Us, they're making a third one. Why? The second one underperformed. Okay, it made money, but a lot of people returned it, and there was God so much God of War is fantastic, by the way. Huh? God of War game is fantastic, by the way. I finally got to play it. Good, good. We played the originals. Oh, the original trilogy was fantastic. We need to get that for the PS2. I don't have that. Oh, that's going to be a nightmare to get a hold of, I feel like. Hey, I found the Sly Cooper franchise. No, well, CO did. Wasn't hard. Yeah, but I mean, cost wise. It might be a bit of a pain. I thought that, I thought that too when me and CO looked up uh, Luigi's Mansion. 30 bucks. Not too bad. So, I don't know. I think it, it takes some, want some research, want some research. However, Sir Daniel Fortescue, unfortunately, is not the money maker. The big money makers are, well, other franchises right now. The more realistic. Now, fans of the original and of the reboot, the well, the PS4 reboot, all, along with Spyro and Crash, and some of the other characters have been given validation. Crash finally got a new game. Crash 4 is about time. Excellent, by the way. Excellent. Still waiting on that Spyro 4, but we can take the crazy virus for that. Why didn't we think of that as here? Think of what? You know, Corona. Why didn't we think of that? We could have taken over the world like that. Better to raise the dead and terrorize the, the village every mm. now and again. Yeah. Uh, I'm getting off topic. But yes, so Daniel Fortescue is one of the more... He's very popular, but his games just don't sell enough for, in Sony's eyes compared to the others. And that is unfortunate. This bony fellow may not be able to talk much without, being, without mumbling, but he definitely has, well... If you'll pardon the expression, heart. Being a skeleton, he's not, he doesn't really have any organs. Well, besides an eye, funnily enough. Now, what does is, what is Sir Daniel Fortescue look like? For those of you out there that don't, don't know. He is, a, well, a skeleton, for the most part, with, very, with knight's armor. And various weapons, but he's usually seen with a sword, a, a knight's sword, and a shield. No helmet, but the skull is very distinct in the fact that it has no lower jaw. So it's kind of hard for him to talk. 
you can kind of understand him to a certain extent. But he also only has one eye. So take that with what you will. He has a very distinct look and stands out amongst the other Sony characters. But, well, for whatever reason, Sony just doesn't want to use the classics. I've heard rumors of Sly 5 and, and a new Twisted Metal game for... And I've gone back and I've seen it supposed to happen for years. But their last games underperformed. At best, we'll probably get a reboot. Or maybe, you know, maybe let Sir Daniel Fortescue rest in peace. You decide. With that being said, thank you again for, for letting me crash this channel for a little bit. And we have decided. The horror corner, well, it looks like I'm going to be settling in quite nicely with you lot. But, with that being said, be sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and, uh, I know, I, I know, it's not exactly creepy, but you try getting into that closet. Don't look at me like that, CL, you don't, you don't, you look at me like that. However, be sure to also share this video with others, and of course, go down the comment section down below, and let us know what you think of this video, with that being said. I have been Shade, and this has been the History of the Underappreciated. Hope to see you, you boils and ghouls later. Bye.